on guys wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for invicta uh, it was against this clan fort de croc um at first i figured they're a french clan but apparently they are from indonesia uh they put up a pretty good fight you know uh it wasn't a very uh poor matchup uh random matchup so can't complain uh flip over check it out 87 to 80 for invicta <clears throat> uh so good job boys uh check things out uh they use 69 or 70 attacks so just kind of check out what happened i see a 35 man war here in evict a lot of new faces too i uh, i like seeing that um so they got a few three stars in there <clears throat> nothing too crazy uh the tens they missed josh and dude uh to everything else uh you check this out here 22 to 12 for the three star count so um they struggled a little bit there that's kind of where invicta came out on top we'll check it out we did miss number three completely uh not too uh sure what happened there but um as well missed one on sensei a few of the tens here kind of got missed um, they did have a town hall 10 advantage by a few so uh no big deal though most of the nines got cleared missed a few of them i think four all day yeah um so some really nice attacks in here good job overall boys uh, just gonna jump right in and start showing some of these beautiful replays uh, 11 i had first king brett really really impressed me with this attack <clears throat> brett's been just tearing it up in invicta for us Four healers go down on his Archer Queen. His Archer Queen's going to add a wizard down here to kind of push her up. Uh, the wizard's just going to take out those uh, collectors, step up, take out that cannon. Archer Queen's going to just work on all this stuff. She ends up working her way all the way up this whole side of the base and basically takes out this whole section of the base all on her own and then pushes into the base and helps with cleanup. Uh, just worked absolutely perfectly. Uh, so once everything is fine and dandy that cannon goes down he goes ahead and is about to send in a shattered entry up uh, around this 11 10 o'clock position uh, just going to push in at the base get the queen uh, rages up his archer queen walk here yeah that's what he was waiting for to pull the cc with that one hog there pulls the cc out poison goes down rage goes down as you can see everything's fine for the queen so there goes that shattered entry i was talking about both going on that sweeper easy easy funnel here with that army camp just going to drop a couple more wizards uh slowly create that funnel gonna uh jump right over to this queen because that queen is going to jump into this compartment there goes the jump nice placement on that kind of push the golems down uh did not want the king wandering up into this compartment he needs this king to go right towards that queen uh so great job with that brett king goes in just going to take him a second take down this whiz tower he's going to move up into that queen range rage it up and there he goes oh come on rages it up there he goes it takes so long for some reason sometimes she totally should have aggroed that quicker uh but the defensive queen is now dead uh defensive king also died in the process sends in some hogs see this queen still doing work up here she is completely fine it's taking out this whole top section uh hogs go in he's got a heal got another heal in the bag really for these last kind of four defenses like look at all these hogs at this point brett just smashed this base absolutely absolutely queen's gonna work on a wall and then jump in and kind of help with the cleanup hogs are gonna finish these last few defenses off he's got wizards on the outside doing cleanup as well this king's gonna beat through this wall still working on that storage last defense is down nice job brett beautiful that is your three <clears throat> uh moving along i think i had number 18 here uh, new face in Invicta for me, uh, Carolina Nomad, uh, showing some stuff with seven Valks in the bag. What I really liked about this attack, I thought it was very creative, was this little Archer Queen with two healers, Wizard to kind of start creating that funnel, goes ahead and watches right before the Archer Queen finishes off this Elixir storage, I think. Yeah, there goes the Giant. Giant's going to go in, pull out that CC to her really just completely isolates that clan castle from that golem the golem's going to go in isn't really going to take too too much damage creates the funnel for his valks on the other side opens up the wall there like just great patience great job with this just to bring the one golem and really he's fine here come the valks that little breadcrumb on the on the uh, collector there going to go right into the jump right into this core so seven valks are in uh sends in a few hogs to this archer tower a few hogs just sprinkling in on the outside it really just wants the valks to keep going into that core 
uh, and protect them at the same time. So really good job there. Hogs aren't even taking barely any damage at all. See, just a couple hogs on everything. All those point defenses all going down. They do. He does lose a few here with these Teslas. Um, King rages up, so that everything kind of meets in the middle for this heal as well, which I really like. See those hogs? All those hogs are low health. Boom, they're right back up to full. Looking good. Drops a wizard and some minions already on the outside for a cleanup. Really just his last section and a heal. So uh, what I was really amazed too about this attack uh, was the Valks are dead. Um, usually I always have these Valks left over running around with the king, especially with the healers there, but the healers locked on that golem. The golem is still going back up to full health and the golem goes to full health at the by, by the end of this raid but it is clean up so nice job nomad i really like that little uh little opening with the archer queen with the healers drawing the cco keeping them everything away from that golem just protecting it to give it some time nice job stupid dark barracks at the top doesn't matter three stars sexy all right Next on the chopping block, sorry, I was just watching Chopped, uh, Ryan, welcome back to OneHive. Uh, Ryan took a little bit of a break from us for uh, probably a few months, um, but comes back in here with a really nice attack, uh, straight up, uh, oh, it's a cold-blooded Lalo, I believe, uh, brings this little Archer Queen walk, takes out that air defense, uh, Actually, I believe Power Bank literally just did a video on this base. I might be wrong. It might not be this exact base, but it was very close. I don't know. I know it was an air attack that it was. I didn't watch that whole video. Um, but as you can see, Ryan's just walking in here like a boss. Rage goes down, healing up that queen. Going to take care of the CC troops under that poison. No problem. Goes ahead and sends in that golem kind of at that 10 o'clock position, 11 o'clock couple wizards kind of easy easy funnel there's no buildings on the outside to worry about so only two wizards needed for that funnel uh golems just beating away on that wall i think he had a little bit of a wall breaker fail there but wall is now open maybe i was wrong i, I completely missed that but uh it doesn't matter king is in gonna take care of that defensive queen a few swipes right locked onto that air defense boom two air defense down so immediately here come the lava hounds uh, first two lava hounds in on that air defense a couple balloons come uh, on each of those outer defenses uh, everything looking fine and dandy at this point haste going down a little bit of a horseshoe really wants to just start forcing everything into that core to finish off those expos and the teslas uh, things are looking great two lava hounds still for that last air defense remaining uh, this one's about to burst but this other lava hound is full health so all the loons go in rage goes down over that core i like that rage placement because it even uh uh, just gives the gives these couple balloons enough to get that one crossbow and look what he's got left here like it's not a lot left at this point so you kind of see how this works out but the lava hound is in front and it's tanking he loses a loon there it's just enough that crossbow is pointed at the ground uh so that ends up opening up so much because if that was on the lava hound the entire time it probably would have been popped and then this wizard tower would have finished off those balloons but that was not the case so beautiful job ryan uh time i bet was super close on this as well i didn't see did not see it live but uh good job man nice three star sexy all right moving down so 35 man war got a couple in the bottom five here to show you some really nice attacks <laughs> skip blew my mind with this attack uh, love skips attacks uh, really just beast attacker brings nine valks here but also brings these two healers only one golem uh, very interesting armor cop one earthquake with the three heals and the jump uh, very very interesting so drops this giant down here creates uh a, starts just killing all these buildings ends up getting that cannon out of the out of the place so sends in what's this so another giant in that cannon two healers are already on his arch queen that's been killing stuff just drops the king he's walking the king and the queen and this giant and now these valks down the section because look again now that now that this funnel has been created there's no buildings here so he's just going to drop the golem a few wall breakers open up the wall here like just genius like this cleanup huge section of cleanups already done on this side of the base so he lets the valks lets the golem in lets everything in there is a uh, lava hound there so it locks on uh, another huge piece of this is well first of all he's sending down these valks in on this quad tesla which is just going to shred under that heel 
But the queen is completely staying away from this lava hound this whole time. She's just going to continue walking. There's not much to deal with this queen here. So she's just going to keep going up and around the space and finish off the cleanup. She's been cleaning up this entire time under with two healers only. So amazing uh, planning on your uh, troop comp here, Ryan. I or sorry, Skip. I uh, thought it was awesome like just unbelievable uh, how you broke this base down all these valks standing here completely untouched at this point the core is now taken care of got a handful of hogs all on the outside here just few on each defense still three cleanup wizards for this oh, that's all the cleanup this three o'clock is all that's left of this base <laughs> absolutely crush this guy skip just blew my mind man nice job and one more down to 32 Kadik, Kadik, as he explained to me what it means. It's actually the name of a dike where he lives um, in Holland. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, but I liked it. Just the six Valks with the one Lava Hound and 15 Balloons. I thought this army comp was really cool. Uh, Shattered Entry, two Golems, six Valks. Uh, just going to create his funnel. Really huge, huge funnel. And uh, another thing I liked about this attack was the patience on these Valks. Watch how long it takes him to drop these Valks. So everything's kind of going in. Clearing out everything. CC gets pulled. Everything's getting locked on. Huge funnel's been created. There goes the King. Then is Valks. So the Valks are not going to get touched until they're absolutely in here just shredding already. That Dragon's under poison. It's going to go down fast. The Queen's locked on uh, as of now. Yep, Dragon's going down. Valks are in. Everything's going to get shredded. So keep in mind, we got a Lava Hound and 15 Balloons for this back end air defense. And look how exposed this back end air defense is. Uh, so Cad just takes advantage of that. Sends in a handful of Loons with a Haste to take care of these defenses on this section. Just going to kill this and start moving up to this Tesla. Two more for that Tesla when it pops with another haste. So all these loons are just right on top of these defenses immediately. One huge rage to cover this two Tesla and one more air defense section. And five more balloons. Just balloons everywhere. Even one more to drop on this Tesla. Still has a balloon, a wizard, and three goblins for cleanup. Uh, drops that last balloon to kind of start taking out this stuff down here. Caddick, though. Beautiful job, man. I think the lava hound, no, lava hound doesn't burst there. Oh, maybe the wizard tower gets it. I swear the, la the last lava hound burst. I don't think it quite gets it. Yeah, it does. I knew it. I knew it. But look at those air skellies just working on those uh, balloons. Nice job, man. <laughs> Great three star. So nice replays, Invicta. Nice to see a 35 man war. You know, we're, uh, we're constantly moving guys up um, all around. It's a, you know, crazy crazy time sometimes you know you lose some guys that have been with you forever and um lose some guys that are new and and life takes over and it is what it is and uh we move on but that's why we have kind of the the chain system of clans here and it is working great because we you know got constant apps coming in for a swarm which is beautiful bringing in guys um kind of thinning everyone out and uh and moving you up the chains and getting chances to uh partake in these arranged wars which is absolutely awesome um that's definitely uh the greatest uh feeling when you're in those arranged wars and everything's serious and everyone's planning on team speak and it's it's just uh it's just a cool cool experience overall so again guys hey if you ever want to uh look at what the requirements are or apply for swarm the 2.0 chain i uh i just recently not too long ago added the uh just where you started is in the comments below so go ahead and check that out uh hopefully you guys are enjoying the content uh, working uh, hard with cad there on the base building series uh got a lot of good feedback on that and going to continue on with those videos as well we're going to work on some uh offensive uh videos hopefully uh in the short term uh so yeah a lot of good content on the way uh, i'm going to call it a night though uh it's getting pretty late uh so that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next three star and until then i'm out